nine o'clock in the morning I have washed my hair which always feels really good and yeah I thought today we could vlog a little bit I want to show you guys the new skincare that I'm using and we'll also do a little bit of what I'm eating and what I'm doing tonight we have a massage booked which I'm so excited for I'll be working mostly from home this morning so it'll be a chill day but I wanted to take you guys along so let's start with some skincare I've already washed my face and I'm currently using the crave beauty matcha hemp hydrating cleanser this is so good the ingredients are amazing and it's a very gentle cleanser so it doesn't overly strip or overly dry the skin this one has a really nice jelly texture I'm just going to show you a little bit it's really nice and gentle so it's not going to over dry your skin there is still a little bit of a leather but it's not like a um, squeaky clean kind of over lathering effect on your skin so your skin still keeps its moisture but you get a really nice effective and deep clean and the ingredients in this are really good as well it contains matcha, hemp seeds, oats, almonds, vitamin B5, and sodium PCA. So all of these antioxidants help to fight free radical damage that can lead to premature aging and inflammation of the skin. So the formula is really clean and this was actually created by a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Leah Yu. She is a skin enthusiast just like me and this is her line. Again, it's called Crave Beauty. They've got some other really great products and one toner that I love that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Leah is super knowledgeable about skincare you guys have to check out her channel as well so I love supporting brands like this and people who are going after their dreams and creating really cool products next I'm going to tone my skin with the Ren clean skincare ready steady glow daily AHA tonic it's got a nice little pump dispenser here which is pretty cool I'm just gonna take that all over my skin with a cotton pad I like this toner for the day and then for nighttime I use the one from Crave this is the kale lalu yeah <laughs> yeah don't know how to pronounce it but the product is good the ingredients in this are insane it's got kale spinach parsley aloe glycolic acid which is the AHA it's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 so this is a really great treatment for the night because it's going to gently exfoliate the top layer of your skin with the glycolic acid and the glycolic acid helps to remove dead skin cells and increase cell turnover which will lead to more youthful and fresh skin Skin. and glycolic acid in particular is really good because the molecules are very small so it can really go deep down into the skin and it can penetrate deeper and exfoliate deeper without causing irritation so if you have sensitive skin this is great but I do like to use this only at night I like to put on a nice thick moisturizer on top of this at night and then I go to bed and I wake up with nice and glowy exfoliated skin so this is amazing plus the ingredients again are really really good Leah definitely knows her stuff when it comes to skincare so again highly recommend to check her out and check out her brand so once I've toned my skin I like to apply a vitamin C serum this one is from drunk elephant you guys know that I love this one so I just pump a little bit on the back of my hand first and I just take it all over my skin and to moisturize I'm going to use the Tatcha water cream and lastly for SPF I'm going to take the bare minerals complexion rescue defense SPF and I'm just going to mix it in with a little bit of the By Terry CC Serum in the color Sunny Flash. So this has been 
been my recent morning skincare routine. I love all of these products so much. I'll make sure to have them listed down below and definitely go and check out the Crave Beauty brand and Leah. There's so much great information on their website and also over on Leah's channel. So definitely go and check her out. I will have their information below in the description box. So now I'm going to dry my hair. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in it and then give it a nice blow dry. So I am ready for my first meal of the day. I'm gonna have a smoothie and also some overnight oats, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I've already put some spinach in there. We've got one apple, one pear, a little bit of ginger. I'm also gonna pour in some lemon juice, and this is some frozen mango. the main part of my breakfast I'm gonna have these overnight oats that I prepared last night I was actually inspired by my friend Sona Gasparian on YouTube she made a post on her Instagram stories showing how she makes these and it looked so good and very easy and simple which it definitely is so thanks girl for inspiring me and I'm gonna add some strawberries and blueberries on top some walnuts and this by the way it's just half a cup of oats with one tablespoon of chia seed one cup of plant-based milk and I chose oat milk. I also put in some cinnamon, some vanilla, and one teaspoon of honey. I mix it all together. I just put a cap on it and I put it in the fridge and the oats soak up all the liquid and it's ready to eat in the morning. Could also add some almond butter to this if you wanted to and I think it's really easy for on the go or if you want to bring a breakfast to work or to school or even just to have as a little snack during the day they're really easy to prepare you just keep them in the fridge and they're good to go I want to show you guys a pretty exciting little update on our apartment. Some of you guys may know that we have been looking at new apartments we wanted to move, but we've had no luck at all. And the thought and the dream of moving to LA is actually more attainable now. It's more realistic for us. So we're not sure yet, but it could be a very big possibility within the next year or so. So basically, we don't want to invest time and money into moving. So we're going to make the most of this apartment that we have now until we have more of a clear idea of whether we can move or not and one of the things that we needed was an at-home office because we are working non-stop so we're in the middle of transforming my previous beauty room into an office this set of doors used to be over there before so we've just moved it around a little bit we've gotten this really nice desk just a simple white and chrome desk and these office chairs and I really like the color of this chair as well. It's in this nice gray kind of beige color. I really like it. And then the desk is just very simple and white. It still needs a lot of work done to it. We're gonna get new drawers that are a little bit smaller and that are gonna fit better in this corner. We're gonna repaint everything because there's a mark over there. We've got some marks over here from a previous um, chair that used to sit there. So it's gonna be freshly painted and we're also going to change this mirror. I still want a mirror in here because I feel like it just opens up the space a lot, but it's gonna be in a more modern and simple silver frame like the desk. And there's also gonna be one on this side. And then for my outfit shots and my outfit of the days that I show you guys in my vlogs, I usually stand here, but now that won't be possible anymore because we've got a nice big desk. So instead, we are gonna have a mirror put on this wall over here, and this is gonna be my new OOTD spot. And hopefully the reflection is still gonna be somewhat nice. We'll see, maybe we have to just switch up a few things, but 
that's the plan. We are also redoing this room a little bit. We're gonna get a new couch. I can actually show you guys the one that we ordered, but it's beige. It's so beautiful. It's a lot more simple than this one, and we're gonna bring it forward a little bit, and then maybe do something on the back wall as well. Maybe a little table or a little bookshelf or something like that. Um, this is gonna go. So this is the new sofa that we ordered. I found it on West Wing, and I really like the simplicity of it. We got it in this gray kind of beige color, very similar to the office chairs actually. We also got a matching stool that's gonna go in front of the couch as well, so we can put our feet up. And we've also gotten a new carpet for the room as well. This is the carpet that we got. It is a nice kind of gray uh, type of carpet. That's the one right there. I think it's gonna look really good with the couch. We also need to get some new cushions for the sofa as well because it doesn't come with any. So these are a few on the website that are in the gray kind of beigey tone. And again on this side over here I still need to get some drawers that are of course matching on um, either side. So I will keep you guys updated as this office comes along. But I am so excited you guys and so ready to have a proper working space. We're gonna make this really cute. We're gonna get so much good work done here in this room. It's not the biggest office just yet but it's a start and we're gonna make the most of it. So I'm really gonna try to make it look good, make it be really functional and organized Organized and inspiring to be here. So I will keep you guys updated on the progress. Feel the music, the rhythm, a heart on a mission. Can't fight the feeling, and I'm not denying it. No, I'm here to lose our control. Got emotions. Yeah, yeah. It is time for some lunch, and I made myself this nice big salad. This has got spinach, baked sweet potato, smoked salmon, cucumber, tomatoes, and drizzled with lots of lemon juice and black pepper and a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. Yummy. This is my outfit of the day. Um, I'm very squished here between this desk and this mirror, but we're making it work. This blazer is from Massimo Dutti. It is one of my favorites. I love it so much. I love the color of it. And then I've got on this crisp white cotton shirt from Mango. I showed this in my most recent haul and I really like it as well. And then I've got some simple denim jeans on from Zara. And then my shoes are from YSL. They are suede espadrilles and they're super, super comfy and very cute. And then my bag is from Chanel. I am on my way now into the city. Mo and I have a few errands to run and then we are going for a massage. I'm so, so excited. We like to go to this Thai massage place like once every two to three weeks. We try to do it every week, but it doesn't usually happen that way. But once every two weeks, Mo and I both like to work out. So it's really nice for our muscles from time to time to just have someone like really squeeze at them and move all the blood around. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. It is now the end of the night and I am so ready to go to bed. That massage was so good and so relaxing. They're just so talented. And it's not something that's like super, super expensive either. We don't go to like a super fancy spa or anything, but they are really, really good. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.